hi Frankie. Hello. Hello everyone, welcome. Happy Friday. So welcome along to this free little taster today. Um, something to break up your day. Uh, it's a nice 30 minute restore class with me, Jenny. So welcome along. Hello. Amazing, just letting everyone start to come in. Okay, so our bar restore class is a really, really nice one to incorporate into your weekly workouts. It's a really nice chance just to connect deep with your breath, slow your body down, listen to it and what it wants. Really take some time for some slow, deep stretches and just generally let your body recover. If you're doing a lot of classes at the moment, if you're doing our challenge, then it's a really nice way just to give your body a bit of a chance to slow down, breathe and restore itself. So welcome everyone. Hi to everyone who's just joining. I did pop a playlist in stories if you want some music to listen along to, but if not, we can get going as we are. So this is your 30 minute restore class with me, Jenny, and we're gonna find ourselves down onto our mats or into our space. So you don't need any props for this one, but if you do have a block or a book, then feel free to bring it in just for this first part. And if you want to lift your sit bones up, you could also sit on a cushion as well. You're very welcome to, just to give you that little bit of height and also that grounding down for your sit bones. Nice, when you're ready, just bring yourself to a comfortable seat. Let any tension drop out of your shoulders. Let the breath just sigh out of the body. Close the eyes down and just have a little moment to reflect on how your body is feeling on this Friday afternoon, how your mind is feeling as well, slowing the breath, slowing the thoughts. Good, and then just taking one hand to rest over your heart space or over the left hand side and one hand over the belly you can keep the eyes closed here. Take a full breath in through the nose. And then let it fully drop out right underneath the sit bones. Good. Feeling how the rib cage, the diaphragm expands. Breathe in. And breathe out. Oh, one more. Maybe it's a little deeper and a little stronger. Really let it go now. Amazing, when you're ready, just slowly blink the eyes open. You can remove that cushion or that block if you had it in place. And then just see how it feels now with your sit bones fully rooted down into the ground. So staying in this little comfortable cross-legged position, take a full breath in, circle the arms up. And at the top, as you exhale, just start to draw one elbow into the side of the body, take a little reach over. Nice breathing and lift up. As you exhale, just exploring how the sides feel, take a little reach up and over to the other side. Good, two more, breathing in fully. Exhale, finding this little stretch up and over. Maybe you've been sat at the desk or at your laptop for a few hours, breathing in. So just giving your body a chance to unravel, exhale. Nice, this time send the arms high. And as you exhale, just let the hands interlace behind the head, really support your head in your hands like it's something really precious, which it is. Take a little breath in, lift the chest. And as you exhale, this time just rounding the elbows, sending the shoulder blades towards the back. Two more here, breathing in, just starting to open the space around the throat. Space in the upper spine. As you exhale, try and relax the jaw and the face as well. One more, breathing in. This time really send all that breath out into the space in the shoulders. Nice, and then coming back to find a little neutral spine. From here, taking your left hand, let it find your right knee and just come to a very easy twist, turning to look over the back shoulder, breathing in. As you exhale, you might drop the shoulder heavy. You might spin the chest a little further. Two more here, breathing in. 
Exhale, you can always close the eyes if that feels good to stay in this little bit of silence, stillness, darkness. One more breath in. Give it exhale to reach. Nice, come around through centre, try and let your spine have a little melting sensation as you switch to the other side. So right hand finds left knee, little breath in. Exhale, spinning and spiralling from the middle of the body. Inhaling, notice if you're gripping the hands or gripping into the jaw, exhale. One more, breathing in. And letting the exhale really soften you around. Amazing, walk your hands back through centre. This time we're bringing ourselves around to find this little all fours position. So come into a little tabletop, spread the hands nice and wide underneath the shoulders and just let your knees find their way underneath the hips. Again, it could feel really nice to keep the eyes closed for this bit. As you inhale, start to drop the belly down and start to lengthen the chest forward. So coming into a little bit of a cat stretch. Letting your exhale here, press down into the hands, drop through the head and really round in the shoulders. Two more, breathing in, starting to ripple the body forward. Exhaling, scooping away. And you might find those tiny little tight spots right between the shoulders or in the upper, the mid or the lower back. One more, try to find a little bit more fluidity every time you move, breathing in. Good, and as you exhale, scoop and press away. And maybe this time you can come onto the fingertips so get a little bit more round in the spine, really pick up lots of work, particularly in bar when we work on our press ups and with those weights, really targets the back and the top of the shoulders, so just giving those a chance to release. When you're ready, come back to find a neutral spine, walk the fingertips further forward, Join the toes together and the knees apart, and then just take a little breath out to bring you into a child's pose. So long on two sides of the body. As you inhale, try and keep the chin connected towards the chest, really round all the way forward. So you come to this little open position, gaze just ahead of the hands, stretch in front of the abdominals a little bit here, breath in. And as you exhale, just floating back again towards the heels. We're going to keep this one moving a couple more times. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale, drawing the sit bones up and feel heavy as you press back. One more, breathing in, rippling forward. And exhale, scooping all the way back. Nice, again, bring yourself up into this little tabletop position, this little neutral. Check that the hands again come underneath the shoulders. We're gonna work through the shoulders now, so breathe in, send the right arm forward. And as you exhale, take a full circle, rotating all the way back. Going for two more here, breath in, reach into this right arm. And exhale to spiral it back, maybe following the fingertips as well. Go for one more, breath in, reach forward. And exhale to open. Really nice, this time breathing in, sweep the right arm forward, let it sweep up and away to the sky. And then as you exhale, just take a little thread, drawing the right shoulder all the way down into the mat. So you can let your ear find the mat here as well. Maybe press the left fingertips down into the mat, breath in and breath out. Breathing in fully, releasing fully. One more, breath in and breath out. Amazing, press into that left hand, draw your right hand to the center of the chest now and then just rotate the body a little quarter of a turn, so your right toes just come slightly out to the side. Take a breath in, circle all the way up and around with the left arm. And as you exhale, find this really nice long extension with this top arm, catching the balance. A little breath in. As you exhale, maybe you just start to draw your elbow to knee, getting a little bit of squeeze into the waist. And as you exhale, the toe can either find the ground or maybe stay lifted. Good, breathing in, squeezing into the elbow and knee. And exhale, just find a little extension as you reach. One more time, breathing in. And exhale, reaching away. Good, lower the toe if it's not already. Draw the hands down into the mat and lower this left knee just alongside the right. And again, you might take a little cat and cow here. So breathing in again, drop the belly, see if there's a little bit more space now. And as you exhale, press away. Good, coming to find this little neutral spine again. This time we breathe into the left arm, sweep it forward. 
And as you exhale, take it all the way back and around. Maybe there's a little bit more tightness on one side, completely normal. Breath in, sweep forward. Exhale to spin all the way open. Good, breathing in one more. Exhale, open. Nice, and this time breathing in, sweep it forward. And as you exhale, lift it up to the sky. Again, find a little more space before you slowly start to thread this left shoulder. The left ear comes all the way down into the mat. Feels nice. Let the head feel heavy. You can move these right fingertips again further out to the side. Breath in. And maybe you're rolling back this right shoulder, finding a little more space as you exhale. Good. So slowing down the breath allows the body to slow. It allows the mind to slow down a little bit as well, which we all need at the moment. Breath in. Breath out. Lovely. You can press into this right hand, use it to help bring you all the way up. This time your left hand moves into the centre of the chest. Send the left toes out to the side and then again just go ahead and reach the right arm and the right leg, making a slow sweep up and over with this right arm. Get a little breath in, now you can press into this left hand, maybe a little squeeze of the knee to the elbow and exhale either extending through the leg or letting the toe come down. Two more, a little squeeze into the body, just getting a little bit of movement, a little bit of dynamic warmth into the body if you've been sat for a little while. As you exhale, last one, draw the knee and the elbow, and then again, you can extend the leg or just let the toe fall down to the mat when you're ready. Nice and carefully, draw the hands down. As you come back to this tabletop once more, take the toes together, the knees might come even wider this time as you sit back onto the heels. A breath in. And a breath out. Good. Starting to open up the spine a little bit more. So start to roll all the way up through the spine. The head comes last. And just bring the right hand behind the body as you inhale. Start to slowly, carefully peel the hips. Lifting up in this left arm. And exhale slowly. Come all the way down. Just releasing the head as you come around to the second side. Left hand presses down. Right hand sweeps slowly up, just going mindfully. See how the lower back feels as you exhale. Really again, just letting your head have a moment to move. Getting some movement in the neck. One more each side, little breath in, reaching. Exhale, enjoy every little trans transition between each movement. Pressing down on this left hand, lifting up in the hips. And then exhale slowly coming all the way down to this little kneeling position. Good, great. We're gonna go into some hip openers, some thigh stretches, getting a little bit deeper into these places that we, again, work so hard in our bar classes. We really work the thighs, the glutes, the hamstrings. So we take a step forward with the right leg, get a little tuck under in the tailbone here, and then start to lift the arms up high. As you exhale, draw the elbows out to the side. So it's like a little cactus shape where the elbows and the chest comes up. Two more, breathing in. You might lift and press the floor away. Exhale, shine the heart forward, open through the elbows. One more, a little breath in to lift. And as you exhale, open the elbows, open the chest. Nice. From here, just draw the fingertips all the way down. So you're framing this front foot. And then maybe just start to have a play around with how it feels. So you can take a little rock forwards and backs. Nice, just gently adding a little bit of movement. So the hips can feel quite sticky. So maybe have a play around with just this little shift forward and back. Good, if you're feeling like you want to take it a little deeper, the option is there to tuck the back toes, lift in the back thigh, and again, you can just slowly start to rock forward and back. You might even go for a few little circles around, just exploring how the movement feels. If anything doesn't feel good, not the opportunity to really push it. You know, just taking it slow, listening to what your body wants and what it needs. Lovely, you can lower that back knee all the way to the ground. Left hand is gonna stay down, reach the right hand all the way forward. And as you exhale, maybe you're just staying in this twist. So looking back towards the back hand, the option is there if you want to find a little stretch for the front of the quad, bending in at this left leg, maybe catching the toes, breath in, 
And you might even allow your right thigh to open out as you find this stretch here. Two more breaths, breathing in. Breathing out, feel as though your pelvis is really nice and soft. It's just melting towards the ground. One more little breath. Wherever you are, absolutely perfect. Exhale, softening into it. Lovely, release the back toes if you have a hold of it. Bring the hands to frame this front foot and then slowly start to rock the hips back and shine the right toes up to the sky. So you might have this knee really soft, completely fine. You might have the hands supported onto a cushion or a block if you have one. Find a little breath in, lift the chest. And a little exhale, start to fold. So as much as we are opening up the hamstrings, we're also softening and moving through the spine. So think about it like a little wave. One more little breath in. And exhale. Good. Move the hands so they come inside the right leg. Sweep the right leg out to the side. So you've got your right foot. The inside edge of the foot is rooted down into the ground and then come forward onto the fingertips. Maybe a little press forward, lift the chest. And if it feels okay, just rocking the hips back, maybe coming to the forearms, maybe letting the head bow. Two more, little breath in, come forward. And exhale, just folding back to wherever works. Lovely, one more, breathing in, coming forward. And exhaling, coming back. Good. slowly bring yourself onto the hands, slide this right knee in alongside the left and then just work the hands a little bit further forward, we're going to slowly lower the body all the way down onto the mat, so again waking up this upper part of the spine, the spine, the top of the spine can get so tight, so we're bringing the hands into the ground just slightly ahead of us and out to the side, really push into the hands, it can feel nice to close the eyes here as well, as you inhale slowly, slowly, Draw the shoulders to a little snake, and then as you exhale, slowly take it in reverse, laying all of the chest, and lastly the forehead back down to the mat. Two more, breathing in, hug the shoulders together, peeling all the way up through the body, all the way through those tight spaces, enjoying every little second as you exhale, no rush, coming all the way back down to find the mat. One more breath in, hug the shoulders together, start to peel and rise up, so you're rising up that little bit more open every time as you exhale, slowly, slowly, start to come all the way back down, lovely, from here move the hands just so they come underneath the shoulders and again you can open the knees maybe even a little bit wider this time, maybe the palms face up to open the shoulders, little breath in and go ahead and enjoy that exhale. Sigh it all the way out down towards the mat. Good. Turn the palms so they face back into the mat. Ripple yourself all the way forward and just come to find this little tabletop or this little neutral space again. I'm going to spin this way so you can see me. So this time we step forward with our left foot. And again, you can come up. Just check that the knee doesn't overshoot the ankle here so we're not pressing too far forward. A little tuck of the tailbone maybe. And then have a breath in, reach the arms. As you exhale, again, you're opening the elbows, shining the chest. Two more, breathing in, rise up. Maybe the hips come a little further forward as you open the elbows. One more, little breath in. And exhale to really open. Nice, let the fingertips slowly come down onto the mat so you're framing that front foot. And again, have a play. Chances are second side and first side are going to feel a little different in the hips. So maybe you're just going for these little movements, these little rocks forward and back. Again, you can tuck under in the back toes, you can lift in the back thigh and have a little bit more of a play here, just exploring how the hip flexor feels. Nice, maybe you're going for little circles around. Again, making some space in the body. Good. a couple in each direction if you're there and then allowing your back knee to come back down onto the ground press into the mat with your right hand sweep the left hand and then maybe you're just looking back to the back hand really nice twist for the shoulders or again maybe you're starting to bend that back knee in a little breath in as you exhale option is there just to almost let your left knee fall out to the side open in the pelvis a little bit more find a deeper stretch 
two more breaths, breathing in. Every time you exhale, could you relax the face a little bit more? So often we put a lot of the tension when we're working out into the face, the jaw, the forehead. So see if you can let that go as well. Last exhale. Good, and then slowly release the back toes again if you have them, slowly drawing the weight all the way backwards, listening to that little crunch in the kneecaps, like me. Left toes shine up towards the sky, have a little breath in, and then you can exhale, just letting yourself melt all the way over the top. A little breath in to reach the chest, and a little exhale to fold. One more, breathing in. Exhale, can you soften that exhale just a little bit more? Good. And then start to bring the body up a little way. Move the hands inside the left leg this time. Again, you're going to sweep this left leg out to the side. The inside edge of the foot comes to face towards the mat. Little breath in, you can draw the chest forward. And as you exhale, maybe you come towards the forearms so that you let the hips come back. Hopefully getting a nice little inner thigh stretch here. So really listening. If it doesn't feel good on this side, hold back a little bit, focus more on the breath. You can always tell if the body is struggling, if you're struggling to maintain that steady breath. One more breath in. Exhale. Nice, and then slowly, slowly, coming all the way up. Again, you're gonna drag this left leg all the way in. Walk the hands a little further forward. And again, we're gonna slowly bring the chest all the way towards the mat. So this time you can bring the hands flat. Hug the elbows together, maybe taking just a little lift halfway, or maybe you're coming up slightly higher. So a nice way to stretch the front of the abdominals. You can feel the shoulders drop away from the ears, little breath in. If it feels okay here, maybe you're just slowly turning the head from shoulder to shoulder. So again, we can get really stiff necks, particularly at the moment from a lot of looking down at screens. So really nice to keep the neck a little bit mobile. Good. The next time you come back through centre, just slowly, again, come back to the sit bones, find a child's pose, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. And then slowly, again, start to roll all the way up through the spine. The head is always the last thing to come up. Nice. So from here, just move yourself around, so you're back onto your sit bones. Good. And you're going to have the soles of the feet flat into the ground ahead of you. So once you're here, bring them a little bit wider than your hip width distance and go for a little wrap. So wrap one hand underneath one thigh and hold on to the opposite knee and then take the same. So you're threading yourself through. Have a little breath in. Try and feel the shoulders drop away from the ears, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, go for a little curve. So think about spreading the shoulders like we did at the start as you drop the head and take this little curve down. Two more, breathing in, so you're drawing the shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, this lovely little curve. One more breath in. One more exhale. Nice, and then slowly coming up to a little neutral spine. We're gonna bring the left foot towards us and the right leg out to the side. So just check that your sit bones are really grounded into the mat for this one. Dial the right toes up towards the sky and then just start to wrap your right hand across to the opposite hip. Little breath in and exhale to reach all the way over. Good. Lifting up nice and tall. On an inhale, you can tap the elbow to the opposite side waist and on the exhale again, that lovely reach up and over. Two more. Breathing in as you come up, that little tap feels really nice into the opposite side and as you exhale, reach over. And the last one, lifting up that little scoop, that little curve, and exhale to reach over. Good. So here you can either take the eye line down to the foot, or almost think about spinning the heart underneath this shoulder, so opening in the chest a little bit more. One more breath. And exhale, slowly come up. Amazing. Drag this right leg forward, so it's directly ahead of you now. The left foot's going to stay into this right thigh. You might again bend through this knee, completely fine. Have a little breath in, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, you can maybe start to walk the fingertips forward. Again, doesn't matter how low you're getting here, you don't have to have that spine flat across the leg. You might press the hands into something if you have it available, a little breath. 
And again, as you exhale, just let yourself fold over this front thigh. Two more, little breath to lift. Maybe the fingertips creep that little further ahead every time as you fold. Good, one more breath in. And one more exhale. Nice, begin to walk the hands all the way back in. Again, slide that right leg back to where it started. Let the toes draw down towards the floor. Your left hand's gonna press into the ground and just take a full breath. So really lift in the chest, reach the right hand high, breath in. As you exhale, can you lower the sit bones and really almost curve the head towards the knee. Breath in to lift and expand. You're reaching away a little further every time. Exhale to curve. One more breath in. And exhale to curve. Nice, coming all the way down onto the sit bones this time. And then again, just walk the feet back in front. If you can remember which way you wrapped yourself in for this little stretch, try and have the opposite hand on top. So again, sort of the feet down into the ground. Little breath in, lift the chest. Little exhale, find that curve. And then really notice you still holding onto the head. Could you let it fully drop so you're like a rag doll? Two more, little breath in to lift. Little exhale to scoot back. One more round, little breath. And a little release. Amazing, slowly unfurl through the spine. Let go of that little crossed position. You're gonna send left leg out to the side this time. Keep the right foot tucked in. Find the sit bones down into the ground. Your left hand can wrap to the opposite side waist. Little breath in, reach up. And then really send that stretch into the side body as well as the inner thighs. Good, lifting up, maybe you come up, little tap to the opposite side body. And as you exhale, reach over. Good, tuning back into the breath if you've lost it a little bit, inhale, lift. Lovely, exhale, reach. One more round, lifting all the way up, little tap. And reaching all the way over. Again and again, you can stay here, you can turn the gaze down, or you can really spin the chest to look underneath this top arm. One breath in, and use the exhale to come all the way up. Amazing. So from here, we slide this left leg forward just ahead of us, planting the right foot to the inner thigh. You can soften at the knee as much as you need. Little breath in, reach up. And then again, you can bring the fingertips down if that's available, just slightly, keeping a long spine as much as possible, little lift. Maybe as you exhale, you go for this little curve. Breath in. Lifting right from the middle of the body. Good, as you exhale, little falls. One more, little lift. Lovely, as you exhale, fold. Good, we slowly start to come back up through the spine. Again, slide that left leg back out to where it started. Dial the toes to face into the floor. Right hand plants down as you breathe in. Press into that right hand, really lift and open the chest. And as you exhale, as the hips slowly come down, maybe elbow to knee. Two more, breathing in to lift. Exhale to curve. Last one, breath in. And exhale. Amazing, you're finding your way all the way to the sit bones. And then this time, take the soles of the feet together. Let the knees come out wide, so we're going to get a little inner thigh stretch again. You can use your elbows, you can prop them into the thighs to help open them out. You can bring something underneath the thighs if you feel like you're lifted up a little bit here. Good. And then maybe holding onto the knees, a little lift in the chest. Exhale, begin to fold forward. So nice long spine. Again, you can walk the fingertips or the arms out ahead of you, little breath. Little fold. So we're keeping these movements going, keeping everything soft and supple. One more little lift. Exhale, fold. Amazing, draw the hands, let yourself roll up through the spine. And then we're crossing the feet at the ankles, finishing off with a couple of really nice juicy shoulder stretches. So breathing in, send the arms high. At the top, just cross one of your elbows underneath the other. You can join at the wrists or at the palms, whatever feels good for you. Little breath in. And as you exhale, encourage the elbows towards the belly button. Draw up the head fully. Two more. Little breath in to lift. Little exhale to scoop. 
One more, breathing in. Exhale. Good. And again, as you unravel those elbows, come to this lovely, really open little cactus shape. And then lifting up, switching the arms over so opposite elbow comes underneath, joining where you can, little lift. Exhale, try and really again drop the head, drop the muscles of the face. You might be closing the eyes now, breath in. Exhale, scoop down. Final one, little lift. Little scoop. Good, unravel the elbows, take them wide. Enjoy this really open feeling one last time. And then release the arms. Let them come back. Let yourself come back to this seat. You can close the eyes again. So bring yourself back into your body. Notice any differences now. So maybe it feels warmer underneath the skin. Maybe different parts of you feel a little bit more open or a little bit more energized. And we're gonna come back to the breath. Just three breaths so you can bring a hand again to the heart and the belly if that works for you or just to the belly or even just with the hands at prayer. So breath in through the nose. Let the full exhale out of the mouth. Good, breathing in. Breathing in that renewed energy. Exhale, letting go of anything stale. And the last one, breath in. And breath out. Amazing, you can let the eyes open. You can slowly bring yourself back into your surroundings. I hope you had a wonderful Restore 30 with me. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you had a good one. <laughs> I didn't realize how tense I am. No, I think that's it. If you start, then you realize all those spaces that need to open up. So restore class we have on our schedule. Normally we work into myofascial release as well. So we work rolling on foam balls and that helps us to release the fascia around the tops of the muscles as well. Thank you. Um, so yes, that is what we normally do in studio. So for now, that was a little taster, lots of gentle stretches, opening the body up. Thank you all so much. Thanks Fiona. Thanks, Frankie. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you've got any questions, any comments, do let me know. I normally teach in Wandsworth, so when we open back up, I will be back there again. Ah, uh, thanks, Gemma. Hope that's got you ready for the rest of your Friday. I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed. I'm feeling nice and relaxed. Ready for a little nap. <laughs> and yes, I am going to try and save this workout and we should be putting it on our IGTV so you can watch it again. You can follow it again whenever you would like. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have a lovely weekend. I'm going to be on stories for a little while longer, then I'll pass it back to Barkor. We have live classes. They are £6 for a class or unlimited for a week for 15 So they are great. Morning, noon, morning, lunchtime and evening classes. I'm going to sign off now. Have a lovely day.